Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith, and here we are once again starting the What's in Your Box Toolbox Giveaway. Is this not the mother load? All right, <clears throat> we've moved on to our next package, and we kind of dug through these, and surprising, <laughs> real surprising, and I can't remember the story on this and why this package didn't get added into the other because I'm looking at the shipping date. Um, August uh, 24th, the 15th, um, and Randy Richard uh, sent this to us, and it's still, it's marked uh, what's in your box, and it hasn't been opened, and I really don't know, but we're going to be, we're going to be adding this into the 2016, so let's go ahead and let's, get, let's come on in close and see what uh, Randy had sent us for last year's giveaway we're going to put in this year's, all right, and by the way, Kevin, this, this, uh, cooler does keep I, I'm surprised hours on that ice all right let's open this up here and see what Randy gave us for the giveaway sixty degree dovetail cutter nine sixteenth shank materials forty one forty Insert and screw. Oh, that is nice. That's clever. I have dovetail cutters, but they're all high speed, and you know, once they dull up, they're uh, they're pretty well done with. And he also gave a couple stickers in here and look at that all right definitely want to get a close-up of that all right we come on to the next one here this one is from dan germain uh this also we looked at the uh the date here and this was like december 15th uh it was sent in toolbox giveaway and of course here it is it is making it to the toolbox giveaway just the the next year all right so we'll go ahead and We'll open this up and we'll see what Dan sent us. All right, Dan Ray Machine Company, Essex, Haverhill, Mass. All right, let me open up that. Let me get you uh, set up. All right, let's take a look. And this is a uh, one, two, three block set here. All right, here's uh, here's this letter here. Hello, Keith. Enclose a set of one, two, three blocks for the toolbox giveaway. I am the guy that stopped into your shop last November. It was nice to meet you in person. Keep up the good work. Sincerely, Dan Germain. All right, Dan. This is this is excellent. This is a uh, this is a great. That's a great addition for the toolbox giveaway, and. Uh, so there's our first set of one, two, three blocks for uh, 2016. Okay, here's our next package. This is from uh, Sam Robertson, um, and he's got he's got these nice little bands on here. And of course, it's lab instrument. Do not drop. Okay, I don't really think they dropped it here. We have just a little bit of a breach there, but I think these this is a regular seal here on on these boxes. They're not always that great. Sometimes I actually run another piece of tape down them and uh, I don't really see that on here. These these straps here, sometimes I think somebody was probably hanging on to it. So when you hang on to it, it, it tight, tightens up and it, and it kind of pulls there. So I don't really suspect that there was damage in here. And this kind of arrived while I was, uh, uh, this 218, and I was, still, uh, I was still hobbling around. So this was picked up by uh, part of the family there. <coughs> and uh, We'll just have to take a look in here and see how things rolled out. Okay, there's a bunch of goodies in here. Okay, Fragile Instruments. HR West Germany. All right, this is for Keith. All right, and that's in there. All right, we got a few other things in here. So we're going we're gonna to empty this out and bring you in. All right, uh... We, we laid out everything here that Sam sent us in, in that box. 
Um, and I'm not going to open up every one of these things because I don't. Uh, we have several months to go before the giveaway, uh, and at the end when we're laying out everything ready to go, we'll bear everything that uh, needs to be bared so that we see. Like here's five freshly sharpened uh, high-speed end mills with inch and a quarter shanks. Uh, we have assorted files here. Here's another file pack here. Here's a hold down. Uh, parallel set right here. Uh, small pocket calipers. Inside this box here is, and it says open carefully because the, the case is it's quite old, and you got a set of um, uh, points there, uh, drafting, uh, pencil, it's a, assortment there. Assortment of uh, files, I mean assortment of reamers, a small outside spring caliper, high speed end mills, um, this is brazed carbide half inch by half inch cutters. Uh, we have a dead center. Here's an adapter from uh, one inch to half inch. And this is uh, 18 spiral Morris taper reamers, number two and three flute left hand and right hand. We got a reference pocket guide here. Uh, this is a KDK. Um, boring bar holder looks like one inch all right and, uh, and then here's a package here the he uh, he sent for me and this is what he has to say uh, dear Keith I have been an avid fan of uh, your videos for about six months now thank you for teaching me good methods for brazing such as dressing grinding or is it grind dressing <laughs> and preheating I recently had to repair a small cast iron tool despite having hundreds of hours of welding experience both gas and TIG, I had attempted brazing just once with miserable results, but recently repaired turned out great, so thank you. I have tiny, I have a tiny garage shop, but I've managed to scrounge up some tools for the What's in Your Box uh, 2016 giveaway. Please accept them with my compliments. I know you like vintage inter instruments. Uh, when I saw the enclosed two-phase dial uh, test indicator on eBay, I thought of you the superior indicator was made by Cullen Manufacturer Company in Racine, Wisconsin. Some research revealed that it was invented by Gerald C. Welch. Uh, he applied two patents, one in 1949 and the other one in 1953, uh, my birth year. I have enclosed some patent drawings. This instrument appears to be worn or damaged, so I wouldn't try using it. it it is, however, a nice conversation piece. Hope you'll find room for it in your glass display case. <laughs> Warm regards, Sam. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Uh, P.S. I saw your video uh, featuring the Crichton, uh, Criterion adjustable boring head made in Costa Mesa, California. It happens I grew up right next door uh, to there in Newport Beach. When I was a kid, I saw dozens of boat yards in Costa Mesa. They built fiberglass halls ranging from 8 foot to Naples uh, Sabbath um, <clears throat> on up to beautiful Columbia 50s, the world's largest fiberglass hall at that time. My dad told me that fiberglass pleasure boat industry began in 1950s right here in Costa Mesa. All right, uh, Sam, let's, uh, let's take a look at this instrument here. That's pretty tricky. Pretty nice. Uh, you can see it on both sides there. Let me pull that out of here. Very nice. That is a nice piece for the case. Excellent. Alrighty, we'll get a picture of this, uh, Sam. Alright, uh, here's our next one here, and this is uh, uh, from uh, uh, 
Deutschland, um, and Ingo to make. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see what you got in here. Cool paper. <laughs> Seventy five to a hundred millimeters. And a standard for 75 millimeters. Very nice piece. Well, I've never seen that. That that the thimble never really move. I mean, the 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 thimble stays still. It doesn't rotate, and the numbers roll over. That is cool. I've never seen anything like that. Dear Keith, my name is Ingo Jemait. I am 35 years old and I live in Germany. I have, I am glad your health is better. I spend some time watching your videos over the last month. With this letter I would like to thank you for all the effort you put into them and that you share a lot of your personal feelings. It's really great to know the person behind the scene. The video that you, A-Bomb, Tom Lipton, and others put online are invaluable opportunity for me to expand my knowledge about machine work. Thank you very much for sharing all of those years of experience and also for not deleting mistakes since those are important for learning too. In my packet you'll find two items which are both a little appreciation for your work. One is a metric micrometer. If you have no use for it yourself, I would be happy if you donated uh, for the What's in Your Toolbox giveaway. I love the idea of it. The second item is a DVD, which is related to your Porsche 944. It is a complete, genuine workshop manual for the 944. I restore vintage Porsche, Porsches as a hobby at the moment and also own a 944 S2, likely the same color as yours. So if there's anything I can help you out with, uh, I'd be glad to do so. Best wishes to you and your family, Ingo. Thank you very much. Awesome, I will uh, I'll pop that in and take a look at it. This is awesome and uh, I, I, I think I think it's awesome to go ahead and add this to the, uh, the toolbox giveaway. It, uh, I mean, it is a great piece. I mean, you know, I, I could probably use it, but I probably wouldn't enjoy it as much as somebody that is really fluent in metric uh, measuring. All right, let's get a good close-up picture of that. Okay, this next uh, package is from uh, Richard Carden. <clears throat> All right, let me see here. Very nice, okay. There's a Magnum Sharpie, okay. That, that'll that spread some Sharpum. Oh, gotta get the phone. All right, so uh, we pulled everything out of the box there. Richard uh, gave us a long nose pattern marker and uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, bitch slapped them 
gems is it's called good hand hand sanitizer there's a large sharpie called the magnum all right good permanent marker there's a pretty good uh, add to the box okay let's get a picture of that all right next box uh bill vogue vogue Jill. Alright, um, hi Keith, my name is Bill Vogel. I am uh, from Long Island, New York. I do heavy equipment repair and fixing things no one else will fix. We are about the same age and similar views on many topics. I do not comment on the computer, but we are friends on Facebook and I have purchased your roller kit. I have been using metal lays and mills for 30 years, just working for myself. Watching your videos has made me a better machinist i want to wish you well and just just say thank you and close the hand wheel for your bridgeport mill i see it is wired up as <laughs> i needed one also i bought two get well thank you again bill volgo oh yeah hey let's check this bad boy out no way <laughs> oh look at that huh now it looks like the new button for the middle all right let's go put it on look at that a brand spanking new wheel huh there we go that makes the mill look better already, don't it? Huh? All right, now um, he in, in there also was a brand new push pull knob on, and I already I screwed that in there and I, I screwed it in tight. The other one was only like finger tight, um, and it was slightly bent on the thread, so it kind of wobbled as well. Bill, thank you very much. You know, I would have never done that for myself. What a special day keeps getting better don't it all right our next one here is from Joseph Jaroski all right and we'll go ahead and open this up and get it laid out it feels it's a pretty heavy box it feels like there's gonna be a lot in here and uh, yeah yeah there's gonna be a lot in here all right we spread everything out here <laughs> hey keith here's a little something to show my appreciation for all the work that you and your family do uh making the videos there are some treats for the four-legged helpers all right some milk bones there there's a bone there and some temptations for the kitties there um uh something for the the babbits uh i can pour the babbit ingots in into there to store and um <laughs> look at this i got two rolls of new monkey shit i'm not hurting for monkey shit now all right and uh leathers leather for the soft jaws thick leather is always good to have and and uh thank you very much joe thanks joe um really appreciate it <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be putting monkey shit in the toolbox giveaway all right next one here is uh uh ron malin all right ron let's uh let's open this up <laughs> uh, okay. I'll, I'll open and get this all spread out. All right, I laid everything out here and uh, opened up. Uh, we got a Starrett uh, caliper in here used dial caliper metric 
uh, we have a steric collection here of um, uh, combination square set one little screw missing off of the level there I might actually have that in there everything else fits together really nice uh, here's a good 12 inch uh, uh, vernier um, and two one inch mics Allen wrench set here last word indicator uh, a little uh, decimal chart there here's a mag base a drill chuck um, some grab it uh, I guess that's like an extractor set there and a small Fowler set of uh, uh, verniers here as well in metric all right and uh, sorry Ron but okay I can't put everything in the toolbox giveaway even if this came out of under the, your bottom drawer on your roll away all right uh, this box here is D Edwards Mmm, just like popcorn. But it should be nice and soft and whatever's in here. I think that might be... Oh, there's a couple other things in here as well. Nice. Alright, let me uh, open these up here and I'll get them laid out. Okay, uh, D. Edwards sent us in a, another steric combination square set, and uh, just a little tiny bit of rust moisture got on in in since I don't know if it's a shipping or whether it was like that before you know it was put in a box. But this is a brand new brand new looking scale, and uh, still got the uh, ethyl mass right on it, the LLS um, company, really nice piece there. All right, and he also sent in a, um, a book here, Roadside Ecology of Maine. All right, I had to check back in my emails there because uh, he actually sent this in, um, oh, May, last May or so. So he might have given me this to read while I was on my, uh, on my buttocks there. And, um, but uh, we definitely know that this is a worthy uh, tool here to be putting in a toolbox. And I thank you very much. Uh, that's that's awesome. We got two two uh, combination square sets now. All right, let's get a picture of that. Well, one last thing I wanted to point out. This actually has <clears throat> has the scribe right in the square. Um, I didn't notice that the other one did, but uh, <clears throat> that's that's nice. Um, I've lost so many of those over the years. <clears throat> I shouldn't say so many of those, maybe two, but I only had like two sets that I've been, <laughs> been uh, hanging on to. All right. Thank you. Mike Yamarino. See what you put in here, Mike. Okay, we're going to pull this out. Hello Keith, I know you heard uh, it a million times, but it's good to see you back and well again. My reason for this box is I was watching some of your recent videos and couldn't help notice you could <laughs> really use <laughs> and uh, some new inspection mirrors laughing out loud. I want you to have these three new ones to use around your shop. I tried for a variety of sizes and shapes and the reasons they are not on <clears throat> the included original cards I uh, I wanted to add some Loctite to keep the threads uh, tight so they don't become loose and useless I may send some of these for the next toolbox giveaway if they're still available anyhow I hope you find that these inspection mirrors are uh, are useful around your shop and you have a uh, good time and good uh, luck at the bash uh, four jaw contest Mike I, I saw Mike out there and he, uh, he he told me that he knew that or had a feeling that I was going to be sent a, a bulk of, of inspection mirrors and uh, and I have I have been sent quite a few inspection mirrors and I'm probably going to be putting some of what I've received in the toolbox giveaway it's still you know I'm, I'm not going to do without I'm going to enjoy having some new ones uh, so I have some with LED lights I have these all of these are these are nice looking ones and nice telescoping handles and uh, um, thank you very much uh, Mike and you guys really thinking about me uh, I really do appreciate it all right let's get a picture of these because I might you know I, 
we're going to be putting inspection mirrors into the toolbox giveaway and I will just be randomly picking some of the collections of what's been sent in to me because I do think it's an important tool to have in the toolbox giveaway. Okay, uh, this box here is from Grattan. Um, let's see what I put in here. Okay, I'm going to open this up and take a look. All right, um, we, we laid it out here. We have, uh, this is actually, it says uh, drill countersink set, but it looks like center drills. All right, um, Allen wrench. Here's a real nice, small Lufkin uh, rule uh, square. And actually, I, I like it because you can, you can go off either end or you could use it just like a machinist square. Um, we got a one inch micrometer thread gauges right here. Uh, uh, these are um, SAE. Um, we have a general thread uh, uh, gauge, fishtail, scribe, uh, spring calibers, uh, two in, one inside, uh, or, and this looks like a homemade set here. And this here is actually uh, made in Germany there. Uh, we got some Sharpum here. Uh, we got like a heel bar here. It looks like that ends broke, but it's been dressed off. Uh, wire brush and a, a pair of vice grips. Two small ball peen hammers. We got 10 snips here. This is a uh, uh, five inch calibers here, also made in Germany. And we have a, uh, a square Craftsman. And it uh, looks like a box cutter uh, made by Stanley. All right, let's let's uh, see what uh, he wrote in. Oh, he says, "P.S. Do you know how hard it is to get a Christmas card in May?" Uh, he, he, you know, he sent this out in May. Wishing you all the blessings of Christmas. I gotta get that. Okay, uh, wishing you all well, <clears throat> blessings of Christmas to Keith and Vanessa. Uh, thinking of you at Christmas always. Uh, encloses a small donation to the Western New Box Toolbox giveaway. Uh, you two are truly a blessing to the uh, trade. All the best. Bruce Gratton, uh, Long Island, New York. Thank you, Bruce. And uh, thanks, thanks for um, the, the Christmas wishes and the Christmas card. All right. Thank you. All right, let's get a picture of that for uh, the website. 